Okay, so this, this, this deadly compound, this gas... Let's call it Death Gas 2000. No, we're not gonna call it Death Gas 2000. It has to be the same gas they plan to use in the bomb they sent Curtin Jane to steal. So the body in the river must have been used to test the Death Gas 2000. Proof of concept. According to the info on the RFID drive, Madeline is planning on making a lot of those weapons. Can't, can't we just check in with local chemical suppliers in the area, see if anything pops? It's worth a shot. Uh, they're likely getting their stuff from criminal sources. Also, it's kind of hard to pin it down when all we have to go on is chemical I can't remember. Okay, let's just keep going over it. There's gotta be something. Okay, or maybe there's not. <laughs> maybe there's nothing there. Maybe it's just gone. Because when I try and go back there in my mind, I don't see a case. I don't see a clue trail. I just see Reed. Here's what I see. I know this is important and we have to figure it out, but I've got nothing right now and going over it again and again, it isn't helping. It's hurting. And break. I think we could all use a little breather. How are we doing? Well, Madeline and the Dabrazan are trying to assemble and deploy horrific gas weapons, and the only thing that might stop them is Zapata remembering something useful from a case that happened 10 years ago. And so far, all she can focus on is that it's the first day she met Reed. So she got upset and she stormed out. So that's how we're doing. And if she can't give us anything, then a lot of people could die. I'm starting to think we should get rich that quill feather. What? Never mind. I will keep digging. I'm gonna go talk to her. Okay, so this Jonas Fisher sounds like a real four-alarm asshat. You have no idea. Sorry, I know that's not much to go on. No, you gave us a lot of new data points, things we didn't know. Yeah, everything helps. Okay, so we don't know her name, but we do know that she was a scientist at a large chemical company. She's from an influential family. Guest speaker at Hudson State. All right, I've narrowed down the search. Are any of these a match? No. I'm missing something. God, why can't I just remember her name? Okay. She's our only lead. Stick with it. What happened after Fisher shut down the interview? 